2014 FIM Snowcross World Championship comes to Sweden where the best men and women snowcross riders will race the hillside circuit of Skellefteå in the hope of being crowned king or queen of the snow. Last year's champ Adam Renheim returns to defend the title he won in 2013 and will witness the first ever winner in women's SNX competition. Hello everybody, welcome in Skellefteå in a very cozy Swedish city and the city is well known because of the hockey as well as because of the golden mines. The nickname of the city is the Golden City as you can see this huge brick here. So let's discover the beauties. are visiting this region especially in the winter time because there are a lot of things to do like snowboarding, skiing, hiking. Let's move to the nearby ski resort. And here we are, the ski resort turns into the snowcross track and it will be first time for Skellefteå to experience the FIM Snowcross World Championship and first time in the history of the sport there will be also women present here. So it will be FIM Women's Snowcross World Cup, so let's enjoy! Let's see how the family relatives Emil Oeman and Elena Oeman will handle this track in Skellefteå. So Elena, if I can ask you what the snowcross means to your family? Oh, it means everything. It means everything, yeah. A lot. And remember to your father, that's true. What about to riding with Elena? It happens many times. Yeah, we try to practice together once in a while. Uh, you know, I have her and I have my two younger brothers, so it's a family tradition, I would say, and uh, it helps a lot. I try to help them as much as I can since I started out first, and we're just trying to make it a fun thing and, and do it together. Okay, so now let's do this together. This is the starting line, it's uh, quite short, but the first corner is not that tight, so it should be alright. Here's a long straightaway that is supposedly going to be pretty rough tomorrow. I think uh, it will be a lot of bumps and it's going to be challenging and a good place to pass. Uphill here is also... Uh, looks pretty flat now and not that rough but uh, as the day goes by it should be it should be a good place to pass too with a, with a good enough amount of bounce okay uh, here we turn around and we go down track uh, it starts off with a, a pretty big tabletop uh, still looks quite uh, flat but it will be lots of breaking bumps coming into this corner and uh, down this hill they have made some small waves and uh, they should be quite a bit bigger too. Um, here we're approaching a big uh, big berm, let's say. Uh, and we're approaching a kind of a wall here, so you need to get, get in fast in order to stop fast too, to get the, get the pressure on the track. Um, here is... Uh, just um, let's say a couple corners uh, 
I'm guessing it's gonna be kind of a one-liner deal here. So um, we'll see how it plays out tomorrow. And here we come to one of the last big jumps on the track. And we're now entering the last corner before the final straightaway. And uh, after that, it should be good. What do you say, Lina? Oh, it looks good. <laughs> Hello, my name is Adam Reinheim from Sweden. I'm the defending FIM World Championship from last year. So we are here today in Skellefteå, Sweden for the first and only round of the World Championship this year. And my expectation for this season and the World Championship is, is of course uh, very high. Uh, as I had the win from last year, so we're here today going to test the track and see how, how it is and how it feels and tomorrow it's final time. I'm feel prepared, so we will see how it goes. Hi, my name is Magnus Lindbeck. I'm driving Skidoo for my own team, Lindbeck Racing. Um, I'm here at the World Championship and uh, my goal is to uh, get a top five position. Uh, season so far not been so good, but I hope we can uh, take the Norwegian Championship later. And here we are with Signe Brodden from Norway. She was second on the Nordic Championship. And now, what's your ambitions for this race? I'm looking forward to race on this track and I uh, hope I will come on the podium. I'm uh, Malena and uh, I'm doing snowcross. Uh, very grateful that I have this opportunity. Uh, big thanks to my dad, and um, I'm looking uh, forward to uh, this uh, race. It's uh, my biggest event, and um, the track looks uh, really good, and um, I just, I can't wait to go out there and do my best and be best. time with really huge distance ahead so how it was oh it was really good it felt uh, the track is fit me good so I was three seconds faster than the second one in the qualifying practice Emil Ehrman was quickest with Oscar Norum second edging out the defending world champion Adam Renheim David Raponen swept the whole shot on his Arctic cat with Emil Ehrman and Roger Carlson fitting out the top three and as Ehrman was soon out in front defending champ Renheim gave chase on the number one. The spectacular hillside circuit of Skeleftia provided the fans with plenty of aerial action as Omen started to pull clear from his rivals. Adam Renheim on the number one eventually passed Roger Carlson on the 42 to move into second but would lose out to Philip Eriksson, number six, on the Arctic Cat. 
as Ericsson, Johan and David Opponen battled over fourth. Oman, though, was in good form and more than seven seconds ahead of Philip Eriksson, number six, as the heat race neared its conclusion, with Renheim on the number one, another 30 seconds further back in third, while Johan Eriksson did his best to secure fourth. The flying Finn, Victor Hurton, wrestled his links to sixth on the number eight machine, edging out fellow countryman Matty Matter on the 58 as Magnus Rayton raced to eighth. But it was a lonely third for the number one, Adam Renheim, and he was left wondering how he would successfully defend his crown in the new one race final format. 30 seconds behind Philip Eriksson on the number six machine. But the heat race belonged to Emil Ehrman, who was looking smooth on the challenging circuit. Eriksson was second, Adam Renheim was third. See how tough the conditions were. Just after semi final, we are in a paddock with Emil Ehrman, and he will tell us more about the ride. Uh, yeah, I had a decent hole shot. I came out as a uh, second or third, and uh, I was able to get up front within a couple of corners. And from there, I could uh, just pretty much ride my own race and, and pick the lines wisely and save some energy for the final. So um, for now, things are looking good. Um, so we hope for a good main event. And it's not pressure because this is only one event where you can gain the world champion title. What about this? Uh, pressure, I don't know. It's similar pressure for everyone who's on the starting line, I guess. Uh, we just got to make the best of it, you know. So uh, hopefully uh, everything comes together very good and I can be on top of the box today. Well, right, here's the classification then. Emil Oman, your winner of the heat race. Philip Eriksson, Adam Renheim, Johan Eriksson and David Raponen, your top five. Nine transfer directly to the main. In Group 2, Niesi Kellström on the Polaris was fastest throughout all practice and time sessions and was favourite to win the semi-final. Aki Pilaka, Marcus Johansson, Marcus Ogemeyer Holgren and Christopher Holm were also pretty fast and at the start it was E2 Karolainen on the 555 Arctic Cat who was first through Turn 1 with Marcus Johansson tucked in behind but it was Aki Pilaka number 5 on the links who set the pace early on as Christopher Holm 14 and Marcus Ogemeyer Holgren and Karolainen all gave chase. 23, Dmitry Skiliarov of Russia was well placed inside the top 10 as Pilaka looked to build up his advantage over Home and Ogemar Helgren on the 14 and the 7 respectively. E2 Karolainen also looked good in fourth as he flashed through there on the 555. Pilaka though was always in control on his links despite the efforts of these two, Christopher Home and Ogemar Helgren, second and third. Emil Sundvissen brought his Polaris home in six as the leaders wrestled with the tough conditions to ensure the best gate position for the final. The conditions, very bumpy, physically demanding. No change at the head of the field. Aki Polaka was too strong in the end, putting in four seconds on his rivals. Christopher Holm was second, Marcus Ogemar Helgren was third as Nisa Kjellstrom on the 27 had to try his luck in the LCQ so he wouldn't get a good gate pick for the main event. It was a win though for Pilaka. He looks set for the final on his number five machine. The best time of the group two from semi-finals belongs to Aki Pilhaja from Finland. Your ride according to your opinion was how? Uh, it felt really good because we did some changes to sled, so it felt better now and uh, by driving that way it feels also better. In the next round you will meet also another guy who did the best time, Emil. How you will consider this battle? Uh, I'd rather get a good start and take the lead and be the first in the finish line. So your top runners there then, Aki Piliaka, Christopher Home, Marcus Ogemar Helgren, E2 Karolainen and Marcus Johansson, your top five. Once again, the top nine go through. As the women lined up for their final, they were aware that whoever came out on top would go down in history as the first women's SNX World Cup winner. Favourite had to be Alina Oman, who we're on board with as she heads through turn one. But it's Sinja Britton of Norway who grabs the whole shot, Matilda Johansson alongside her but Emil Oman already taking second as we go on the exit of turn one and on the GoPro in pursuit of Aaron Bratton 
on the 156 of Norway. Basically demanding, look how rough it is here. But there is your race leader. Signe Aaron Bratton on the 156. Elena Ehrman in second as they battle it out for the lead. Slightly darker conditions in places, but very, very physically demanding as we're back on board with Ehrman as she challenges now. Lap three. Fight for the lead between Ehrman, who's looking to attack Aaron Bratton. Looking to buy that time, but here we go. Challenge for the lead. Oh, contact between the two leaders, but they both keep it upright and Ehrman jumps past into the lead. And we have a new leader from Sweden and the fans are going wild here. So Ehrman now in first place on that number 17. And she's looking to pull away from the 156 of Sinje and Bratton from Norway. Crowd on their feet here. As we look further back, there is Marlin Anderson, 93 of Norway. She's third on a Polaris. As we go back to second position, 156. Sinje Ehrenbratten, oh, battle for third. Marlin Anderson, 93, and Victoria Kirkus, also from Norway on the 25, looking for a way around the outside, but I don't think she's going to get through there. There's your race leader, though. 17, Alina Ehrman, a little bit further back. The 311, Ronja Renheim. Not having a great day, Ronja Reveley though, in sixth position on the number 92 machine as we go back to Alina Ehrman of Sweden. Commanding lead now for her on the links. Bouncing her way through. Sinje Aaron Bratton though, second on her Polaris of Norway. So the Norwegians coming here to Sweden, but it's the Swede that's leading the way at the moment. Norway second and third, third with this girl here, number 93, Marlena Andersen also on a Polaris. But look at the confidence with which this girl, number 17, Elena Ehrman of Sweden is riding. Absolutely faultless. A little bit of contact when she went through on the lead, but she's looking like she's gonna go ahead and win this final. And the flag being ready, and Elena Ehrman wins the women's SNX final on the links by almost 20 seconds, Sinja Ehrenbratten Comes home in second, Marlena Anderson was third as Elena Ehrman salutes the fans. And there's your overall, Elena Ehrman, Signia Ehrman Bratton, Marlena Anderson, Victoria Kirkus, Matilda Johansson in your top five. Podium time then. Marlena Anderson third, Signia Ehrman Bratton second. Elena Ehrman there, got the pink world champion hat on. And she adds her name to the Ehrman clan world titles. Remember, Emil, her brother, two-time world champ. There's the gold plate being presented to Elena Ehrman, your new and first World Cup winner. I didn't take the whole shot. I was second for about two laps, and then I passed the, the rider, and then I just focused on my and just going with yeah, it felt good. I liked the track, it was really rough. So now I'm so happy and yeah. <laughs> After finishing third in his semi-final, defending world champion Adam Renheim will be looking for a good start if he's to successfully defend his title. But two-time world champion Emil Ehrman will also be looking for title number three after winning his semi-final where he beat Renheim by more than 30 seconds. But don't rule out Aki Pilaka or maybe even Nisa Kjellstrom in this winner-takes-all main event. Tough circuit, hillside circuit. It was flat on Friday during practice, but Saturday, though, the main event, it is anything but. Getting ready to go here for the main event. We're on the GoPro on board with Philip Eriksson. He gets squeezed as Marcus Ogemar Helgren and Aki Pilaka force themselves to the front. Renheim there at the inside on the number one. AZ tries to sneak around turn one on the right-hand side, but it's David Raponen, number 60, Victor Hurton, and E2 Karolainen, and Reynard, and Nisa Kjellstrump, well-placed in the first couple of corners. On board with Philip Eriksson. Bad start, though, for him after finishing second in the semi-final. But it's Emil Ermut of Sweden on the number 72 links. Adam Renheim there, number one in second on the ski -doot. As they disappear up over the hillside, Battle for the lead continues though between Renheim, number one, uh, who's closing in on Ehrman, 
on that 72 machine. There's Nice Kjellstrom, he's in third place. Back on board though with Philip Eriksson, trying to make a pass on Jonas Ostbihau of Norway, the number 18. So it's going to be a long race for Eriksson after such a promising start in this semi-final. See the amount of roost kicking up. Wow, look at this battle for the lead. Ehrman and Renheim still going at it. Renheim on the left as we look in the orange top. Looking for a move. Ehrman slows everything down. He goes to the right. Oh, look at that. Wasting no time at all. One. Renheim goes through, takes the lead, and we have a new leader. So Renheim then, he leads on the ski -do. The 72 behind him on the links is Emil Ehrman. Both Swedes, so the crowd not too fussed about which one of these two walks away with it. But looking good at the moment is uh, Adam Renheim. Wasn't so hot in the qualifying race in the semi final. Nisi Kjellstrom is in third position, though. That's him here, 27. He's on the Polaris in third place. Emil Oman, though. Looks like he's closing up on Renheim for the lead battle here. Sun starting to drop, you can just see it. Starting to shadow slightly. As David Repinen goes through on the number 60. Arctic Cat doing his best to hold off Marcus Ogemar Helgren in that battle for fourth place. That's him there on the number seven. Philip Eriksson also closing in. But looking at this battle here, fourth place, Oscar Norum. He's on uh, that yellow machine, the number 40. He's in fourth, another Swede. Doing his best to stay ahead of the likes of David Raponent. But Raponent has dropped down the order slightly. He's now in 10th place. Back with Renheim though, the number one. He currently leads. Making it look so good. You can see how tough and challenging it is. Big waves and whoops and holes. Visibility causing problems as well. Omen still in there in second position. That's him, number 72. It's been about these two really today in this main event. The number one of Adam Renheim and Emil Ehrman. Looking to close in though on the title for the second successive year is Adam Renheim. There's Emil Ehrman. But he's running out of time. The flag goes out and Adam Renheim wins the Snowcross final. Emil Ehrman, the 72, will take second. Nisi Kjellstrump will take third as Adam Renheim celebrates in front of the crowd on what has been a very challenging main event here. Adam Renheim wins then, Emil Ehrman second, Nisi Kjellstrom third, Oskar Norum, Philip Eriksson, Marcus Johansson, Marcus Ogemar Helgren and Aki Pilaka, your top eight. Podium time. Nisi Kjellstrom on the Polaris was third overall today. Emil Ehrman on the Lynx, former two-time world champion. He was second, but it's Adam Renheim on the ski -do. Centre stage here in Sweden at Skelleftia. Taking back-to-back -back titles. This one coming in Sweden. Gold plate presentation. Patricia Maskarova, Snowcross general manager, handing Renheim another championship title gold plate. I'm for the second time the World Championship. I won it last year, so it feels very good to have it this year too. I, I knew what the work I needed, needed to do to win the World Championship this year, and I think we, we did it. We did the right things, as it feels right now, we, we did. So I'm very happy with that, and uh, big thanks to all my family and mechanics. Who have, yeah, thank you, everyone. So Adam Renheim then successfully defends his world title here in Sweden by winning the main event over two-time world champion Emil Ehrman with Nisa Kjellström taking third. We also saw the crowning of the first ever Women's Snowcross World Cup winner Elina Ehrman adding another title to the family trophy cabinet. It was a tough track here, but you know these guys and girls will be back to do it all again in 2015, as will we. My name's Paul Malin, thanks for watching. We'll see you next year. Bye for now. <laughs>